guys, it's Billy, and today I'm gonna talk about the one. Yes, today I'm talking about the one, and it's not my husband, and it's not the one and only kimono, it's you! Got 100 subscribers on YouTube. Thank you so much people because I never thought that anyone would ever be interested in my videos and it's only kimono. How boring can that be? I love you guys. The actually one I want to talk about today, no it wasn't you, I'm sorry, I'm sorry guys, it is the one yen. The one yen coin is exactly one gram. It's a one yen trick. A really common problem is that your nagajipan sometimes shows up. And if you check on my Instagram, this happens to me very often. One thing you can do is using a pin to pin it, like I'm actually doing right now here. And I did this very messy, to be honest. I don't care if there is a hole in this nagajipan because it's linen anyway, it was super cheap, but if it's real silk, and sometimes it's when it's old kimono, it could be silk produced in Japan, and they don't produce silk in Japan anymore. So this is a really, 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 really rare thing. That's why I don't want to have a hole in my nagajipan. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a one yen coin, and an elastic. I put the one yen coin under the nagashupan and put all the fabric around it. The place should be in the middle of the katayama of your nagashupan sode. And tie it up with an elastic. This is how it should look like. the sleeves of the nagajuban back inside of the sleeves of the kimono. And perfect. And this one saves your nagajuban from dying of holes. And I think most of you don't live in Japan or there are a lot of you who are not living in Japan. Some of you haven't ever been here so you never have seen a one yen coin before. I brought some coins here. I think to be or I figure out to be much as the same size as a one yen coin. And because I'm German, let's start with Euro. <laughs> I miss Germany by the way. I hope I can go back next year and have a workshop there. Um, I figured out that a 10 cents euro coin, 10 cents coin, is quite much alike a uh, one yen coin. It's amazing. 10 cents will work definitely. And I've been to Canada recently. Yay! Super nice place. I love it. Canada is so great it is and the five cents coin the cent, ten cents coin was too small the five the five cents coin was quite good so this is five cents Canada one yen it's a bit too big but it's just I guess less than one millimeter so I think five cents would work out then let's go to Britain <laughs> uh, I only got 20 pence. <laughs> it's the only thing I got left over from all my pounds. They were way too big. No way, a little. Like one millimeter. But I guess it should work out. Then last year I've been to Czech Republic. I'm not showing off yet. Um, so I still got a lot of krona left over. Czech krona. And I think this was first coin that really really fits a one yen coin and it's a one krona. I think the Czech and the Japanese they kind of have a connection here. So it's really pretty much the same. Krona yen works super nice. This is just great. One krona is maybe the best one you could use for it. Okay that's much about it so see
see you next time guys don't forget to subscribe and like this video and leave a comment see you next time bye